All right, we are up to number eight in the Dragway Memories series. Still don't know who that Corvette is. That's Bob Thompson on this side coming on strong. Dennis Ferreira and the Motion Performance taking on the JNL Ottawa Bass Machine. Lots of cool Chevys back then. DM Racing, he's going to smoke a Mopar here for all you Chevy fans. Just a glimpse of that Mopar. Who's this? Izowski and Chambroni again? Yeah. Catching all gears and the Duffy's Corvette. powerhouse in the East Coast. Ball Jack auctions. Tross and the Vagabond taking on Jerry Mead and his uh, Opal GT. Lots of these are points meets, most of what we've been looking at here up until now. We've got lots more to come. Hangman versus the Invader 33, Willis. Yeah. Yeah, a hard charge to the end there. Yeah. And that's the Cannon Express. Or the Cannonball Express, the Cannonball bro. Express, up against yeah. the uh, Pepper Mill. Trower and Heiner Corvette. Yeah, look at they've got not the injector stack sticking out. Uh, maybe an earlier version here. Yep. Action performance moving in. Harry Luzader. Yep, coming up in his Opal GT. Harry Luzader out of Pennsylvania, 32 5 window. Small block Chevy on injection. E and F gas machine. Harry knows where this machine is today. They won't sell it back to him. Harry Luzader still has this car today, which was a replacement from the very aerodynamic machine. Look at the beautiful green machine. Also an easy gasser. Same power plant, but a much sleeker body. Up next, an early Corvette, Bergen and Burroughs. Lots of early Corvettes. None of them are race cars anymore. These cars have all been put back to the street because that's where the money is. Oh, yeah. They're all restored now. A neat car. I love watching the C1 Corvettes race. Sudden death, it says on the side of this one. Bill, anything? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Larry Payne coming up now. He got lots of laps on that beautiful street roadster. Too yeah. bad they don't make those anymore. And the Cannonball car, or the Cannon anyway. Christian Mike, Cannon and Costa. Mike Cannon at the controls. F and J Automotive. Looks like a yeah. big block Camaro with a grump lump. Not a jersey. That's about all we know of that car. And the Crofton Sink. Fiat with the full moons. You can see that that was a favorite of the guy taking the movies here for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Garrett and. Hempton. Yep. Objected small block. Venom body chasing them down. Jim Audi. Jim and Kathleen Audi to be more direct. Gold colored front engine dragster right beside him there. Brian Noakes. The Wheeler dealer. Glenn Lazar Glenn coming Lazar. up now. The funny farmer. He had some neat cars over the years. He took a Willie's pickup and made it into nothing. Yeah. Just kept chopping and channeling it. Gary Beck, Export AA. Gary Beck, our favorite transplanted Canadian, born in Seattle, Washington. Spent quite a bit of his time in Alberta, especially after marrying a nice young lady from out there. Thrush, that was a Canadian company, Gideon Industries, back in Rexdale, back in the day. Now it's owned by a U.S. conglomerate. He's famous for those leather hats. Burst on the scene when he won the U.S. Nationals way back. Always a favorite at Dragway Park. The Export A won another major sponsorship, another Canadian sponsorship as well. So Gary Beck did very well in Canada. Here he is winning, I believe that is the Long Distance Award for the 1974 race here. They are being push started back in the day. They didn't have a starter or a reverser back in those days. Laying down some laps. Love when the fuel cars come to the track, which seemed every other weekend back then. The Jade Grenade. Beautiful car. Absolutely. One best appearing at this race, apparently. And runner up, did it not? Yep. Sparkling Burgundy. Another top fueler. Neat car. And here's oh, Hill yeah. Brothers and Palmer, the bad habit. Didn't see this car very often. It's a well, Pinto. Well, 